We feature a lot of animals on this channel. And I mean, honestly, a lot. It makes up most of our videos. Dogs, cats, sharks, name them, and we've probably made a video of them, but not really horses. Why is that? I don't know, maybe we just kind of forgot about these magnificent animals. But forget them no more. Today we're going to be talking about the most unique and unusual horse breeds you've ever seen. Number 10. The Norwegian Fjord. The Norwegian Fjord is considered one of the oldest pure breeds of horse. It is believed that the original Fjord horse migrated to Norway and was domesticated over 4,000 years ago. Archaeological evidence suggests that the Fjord horse has been selectively bred for over 2,000 years, first by the Vikings around 1200 BC. Runestone carvings in Norway, many of the fighting stallions, show images of horses recognizable as fjords. The Vikings took their fjords, which they used as war mounts in their travels to Scotland, Iceland, and elsewhere. In these lands, the fjord influenced the Highland Pony and the Icelandic horse. From vicious war horses to docile farmers' helpers, the fjord evolved into a working farm horse for Norwegian farmers in the mountainous western district of Vestlandet. Working on the hillside farms, the fjord became sure-footed, agile, thrifty, and hard-working, qualities they still maintain to this day. The outside hairs are cream-colored, with an inner streak of dark brown or black. The mane naturally grows long, but owners often cut it short so that it stands on end and emphasizes the two-tone coloration. It's also an undersized working horse with the strength and musculature, but not the tall stature of other draft horses. Number 9. The Exmoor Pony The Exmoor Pony is Britain's oldest breed of native pony. They had adapted to survive on low-quality moorland grazing and can make good all-around family ponies, capable of carrying adults, but some have been known for having quirky temperaments. Exmoor ponies are fast learners and they enjoy working. They're also considered kind, even-tempered, smart, and alert animals that get along well with everyone, including children and adults. These small, hardy horses are native to the moors, or grasslands, of southwest England. This stocky breed has adaptations that allow it to thrive in wet places, including a toad eye with extra fleshy eyelids that help deflect water. In winter, this hardy breed grows a long two-layer coat with a warm, woolly underlayer and a shaggy top coat that combine to repel the cold. In the 1950s, the first Exmoor ponies were imported to North America. Today, it is considered a rare and endangered equine breed, as it is believed that there are only about 800 of these ponies left around the world. So, if you see one, it's truly something special. Number 8. The Black Forest The Black Forest Horse of Germany is certainly one of those horse breeds that you cannot resist admiring. It's characterized by a dense golden mane that pops against the rich chestnut color of their coat. This working horse breed might be endangered now, but the people of Germany have relied on these horses for nearly 600 years. In the region now known as baden württemberg the Black Forest horses have been documented as early as the 15th century through records of the Abbey of St. Peter in the Black Forest. These cold-blooded horses might not be as powerful as your giant draft horse breeds, but they are tough and strong and full of might. As of 2017, it was recorded that there was a population of only about 88 stallions and 1,077 mares. Thankfully, these horses are reported to have a high fertility rate, and through careful breeding, there are hopes to see these numbers increase in the near future. There are many individuals dedicated to growing the breed's numbers, so they will never become a thing of the past. Number 7. The Boschkir Native to the unforgiving climate in the Steppe region south of the Ural Mountains, the Bashkir horse is by nature an incredibly tough animal. These horses sport a thick, curly coat that offers protection against the harsh winters of the Ural Mountains. Even its mane is curly, growing into long ringlets. This is an ancient breed that has been bred for centuries by the Bashkiri people. Domestic breeding of horses was an established practice long before Mongols appeared in the area. The mares are used heavily for milk production from April to August every year. During this time, foals are kept from the mares during the day so they can be milked, then allowed to feed at night. This has had an adverse effect on the development of the young animals, and the breed in general suffers in quality because of it. The Bashkir horse bloodline is descendant of the Steppe horses from Western Asia. The effect of their specific climate created characteristics which differ from other breeds that share the same ancestors, as evidenced by their heavier build and their curly locks. Number 6. The Camargue Reputed to be one of the oldest breeds of horses in the world, the Camargue horse is said to have lived in the Camargue marshes and the wetlands of France for thousands of years. Traditionally, the horses live in semi-wild conditions in the marshy areas of the region. 
They are rugged, stocky, and level-headed, making them excellent mounts for herding and work. The Camargue Horse is the traditional mount of the Camargue Cowboys, who herd the black Camargue Bulls used in bullfighting in southern France. The breed has long-standing historical ties to the community, where families have worked with the Camargue Horse for generations. The horse culture is very distinctive in this area, and guardians will congregate at events and exhibitions to showcase their horses' bloodlines and abilities for herding. One of the best ways to see the horses of a Camargue is by horseback, and there are plenty of riding stables in the area that will take guests on a trek across the salt marshes to catch a glimpse of the horses, especially around Les saint marie de la Mire. Number 5. The Gypsy Vanner This colorful and extraordinary breed of horse dates back to the eccentric gypsy travelers in England. These sturdy caravan horses were not only flashy horses, but were also part of the art from that the gypsy travelers displayed. From their stout, strong stature, flowing manes and tails of the feathers on their legs, these horses were looked upon as a symbol of power and strength among the gypsy culture. Today, they continue to hold awe and wonder amongst breeders and onlookers as a symbol of power and strength. The gypsies are a very versatile breed known for their soundness and lucidity. Although originally bred to pull the lavish wagons of the ancient gypsies, their gentle nature lent itself to the teaching of young gypsy children the skill of riding. With the outstanding disposition of kindness, generous efforts, and faithful nature, the gypsy horse is easily trainable for almost any kind of discipline. You can find them pulling carts and carriages, ridden in the dressage ring, over fences, as western pleasure horses, down the trail, and even fulfilling therapy duties. Number 4. Preswalski's Horse the name Przewalski's horse refers to Russian explorer Nikolai Przewalski, who first discovered the horse in the 1870s. With a short, muscular body, Przewalski's horses are smaller than most domesticated horses. After the last ice age, the habitat of the wild horse began to shrink due to climate change. As their semi-arid, treeless habitat gave way to forests, the horses were pushed into smaller ranges. Przewalski's horses once ranged throughout Europe and Asia. Competition with man and livestock, as well as changes in the environment, though, led to the horse moving east to Asia. In the early 20th century, the horse's range shrank even further, as farmers and their livestock began to monopolize good grazing lands. These horses are very social animals and can be affectionate with one another. One example is their grooming ritual, where two mares will stand side by side and head to tail. One mare begins by working her way down the back of her partner, nibbling along the back and then to the hind legs. They may pair with a regular grooming partner or really any available nibbler. This activity not only keeps the horses clean, but reinforces their social bond. Number 3. The Marwari Horse The Marwari Horse is descended from the splendid war horses that served the ruling families and warriors of feudal India from the beginning of that country's history. Their status was unparalleled after they were declared divine and superior to all men, including those of royal blood. Only the Rajput families and the Kastrayas, both warrior castes, were permitted to mount these exquisite animals. The Marwari horse was the most potent symbol of the warrior kings and somehow survived wholesale slaughter through ignorance during the troubled years preceding the independence and for several decades later. The responsive nature of the Marwari horse makes it an excellent creature to be ridden. They are considered to be very noble and intelligent horses as well as being able to be trained very easily. The horses survived on little food in the extreme heat and dry climates of India, which has earned its reputation for its hardiness. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's pick was submitted to us by a subscriber, and it's definitely the most jacked up horse that I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, it looks more like a bull than a horse. But like with everything awesome in this life, if it looks too good to be true, then it probably is. Yeah, sad to say, this hulking behemoth doesn't actually exist, but that's not saying there aren't hulks among horses. Find out more next with number two, the Shire Horse. The magnificent and rare Shire Horse is best known for its height and strength, holding records for being the tallest horse in the world. These horses are absolutely massive with large hooves and feathering on their legs. But in spite of their imposing size, Shire Horses are typically calm, docile, and eager to please. They can be good for horse lovers of any experience level, as long as the person is comfortable with such a large horse, of course. Shire horses are named for the British Shires where the breed was developed. It's widely believed that the British Great Horse, which was used in battle, is the ancestor of the Shire horse. Flemish horses with leg feathering also might have influenced the breed. The most outstanding characteristics of the Shire horse are its imposing hide and extreme strength, traits documented both in record books and anecdotally. 
For example, in the 1920s, a pair of shires reportedly pulled a load of more than 45 tons, though the exact weight could not be determined because it exceeded the scale's capacity. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Falabella Pony Falabella is one of the rarest and smallest horse breeds of the world under the miniature family. The horse's size is so small that it's not considered a pony, instead it's under the miniature horse's label. The horses were developed by selective breeding through the decades and came at the present size. The Falabella horse is a beautiful pet horse well suited at home and can be used as a guide animal. The Falabellas, with generations of selective breeding, can survive in severe weather conditions, and sometimes even better than their taller counterparts. They're also characterized by their extremely long life. Evidently, the foals of this breed are very much small and stand around 12 to 22 inches during birth. The baby Falabella would attain adulthood by age 3. They're easily trainable and can be taught to drive as well as also being utilized as guide animals. The horse consistently passes on temperament, conformation, and size and is frequently used in Olympic sports like the dressage. Which horse breed would you like to take home with you? Let us know down below in the comments. Also be sure to check out the channel's other amazing content and stop horsing around. Yeah, I'll, I'll see myself out later everybody.